So we are all done with the Nightmare on Elm Street series. Hi, Dancer. That was every single Nightmare on Elm Street film, including the 2010 remake. Up next, the first Halloween film. I will be doing Jamie Lee Curtis's early film, so I am kicking off Jamie Lee Curtis week today, uh, starting with her first feature film, Halloween, and then I'll be doing her other films that she did right after Halloween in chronological order. And after I wrap up Jamie Lee Curtis week for this new Scream Queen series, I will be doing the rest of the Halloween films in correct order, but I'll have already had Halloween 1 and 2, H2 and Resurrection out of the way. But yep, kicking off Jamie Lee Curtis week. So part one is done. We are done with the entire Nightmare on Elm Street series. Next up, Jamie Lee Curtis in Halloween, followed by the next few films she did. Dancers growling along to the music. Here's the smoking nurse and Dr. Loomis, Donald Pleasance. Since when did it let them around? I like how she thinks they're just like allowed to wander around in the storming rain at night in nothing but their hospital gowns. And here's the scream queen herself, Jamie Lee Curtis. I think it's kind of funny and weird that um, right after Tommy. Um, says goodbye and w runs across the street. Lori starts singing, I wish I had you all alone to herself right after he leaves. <laughs> Why is Dr. Loomis parked in a handicap parking? I wish I had you all alone, just the two of us. No? These kids are so mean, I feel so bad for Tommy. I love Tommy's giant pumpkin that's like the size of him. So mean. This poor pumpkin. At least it broke his fall. There's the awesome Nick Castle. being a creepy stalker. And here's Linda, played by the lovely PJ Souls. I recently met her at a screening of this movie a few weeks ago, and it was really exciting because nobody ever comes to um, Oregon. And here's Annie, played by then Nancy Loomis. Her friends are so rude to her, and she just takes it. So, when I was a kid, I thought they were smoking a cigarette. I didn't know it was marijuana until I listened to the um, commentary with John Carpenter and Jamie Lee Curtis. And she's like, yeah, look how my character's smoking. She doesn't know what she's doing. So, I literally never knew they were smoking marijuana. And I live in a state where recreational marijuana is illegal. And I still didn't know. <laughs> That's how square I am. I'm even more of a square than Lori Strode because I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> so Sheriff Brackett's accusing him of being scared right now, but I mean a rock just flew into the window at him. Who wouldn't have Dr. Loomis's reaction here? I would have screamed and like jumped a foot into the air if that happened. And I'd be like, yes, um, Sheriff Brackett, I am scared. What was the point of Michael Myers knocking that planter down? Was it to unnerve her, to make her aware that someone's watching her? He's just like, whoops. Justice for Lester, the German Shepherd. One of Loomis's best lines in the movie coming up. I love how proud of himself he looks. And then he's just immediately scared by Sheriff Brackett. There's Dancer. Hi, Dancer. Um, <laughs> hi, Dancer. Um, if I'm ever 
tempted to tell someone to get off my lawn, I'm just going to say, hey Lonnie, get your ass away from there. Everyone thinks Bob's death is the coolest, but I actually think Annie's death is cooler because it had a bigger suspense buildup. Well, did you get my beer? Just filing her nails, smoking a cigarette. Cute, Bob. Really cute. Having her boyfriend fetch her a beer. I'm not sure if the shape was trying to be creepy here or trying to be funny here, but it's effective either way. Why did she tuck in the kids together in the same bed? That just seems kind of weird to me. <laughs> I love it. The car had been there for who knows how long. Probably the whole night. Michael Myers must have been moving the car around the block so he wouldn't get a ticket. <laughs> Here's Jamie Lee Curtis looking for her friends, saying if they're joking it's not funny, and then she called them meatheads. I love these 70s insults that she's throwing around. This is definitely totally scary. Totally. I've been watching too much Halloween, I'm starting to say totally. But this is definitely truly scary the first time you see this, and I saw this as a kid and it definitely is scary. And it still is creepy when you watch it, and this lighting is just so good. So a lot of people always say, why isn't he running right now? Why is he just walking? Well, let me tell you something, because I've thought about this. He's been, like, catatonic, essentially, for, like, 15 years, doing nothing but staring out a window. He's not in shape. He's not about to do sprints around the neighborhood. Of course he's going to be walking. He's been doing nothing but sitting, staring at a wall for the past 15 years. I'm sure he's winded right now just doing this walk. So Lori just sent the kids to go next door to get help, but I hope she's not sending them to the neighbor that literally just like turned out the light and closed their blinds to her. I hope it's a different neighbor that she sent them to. So here's the shape after a quick cat nap coming back for Lori one more time. And here's Loomis to save the day. One shot, and that's Dancer chewing a bone in the background. Two, three, four, five, six. And there he goes. And Loomis goes to check out his handiwork, and no shape. Love that music, that iconic John Carpenter score. The end of this film, it really is so cynical because John Carpenter's essentially saying that you can't kill evil. Hi! But, uh, such a great movie. Whoa, that was Halloween! Um, movie one of my Scream Queen week, Jamie Lee Curtis. So that was movie one for Jamie Lee Curtis week. 